it was political, you know, it was protest art. Like we were creating something that was a critique on the world that we live in and was gonna create a dialogue and that was very relatable to the black experience and also could show the black experience in a very diverse way between these two people and all the characters they meet along the road. Queen and Slim are two very different kinds of black people, right? They probably wouldn't have seen each other again had they not been um, forced together by the shared experience. And I think that that comes across, you know, in the first scene. It's like, they won't have another date. Like, Queen is obviously, like, uses her education to get out of the hood and to, to move up in the world. And Slim is happy where he is, and he's happy with family. And, and his value is, is his, his sense of family and friends and home. And she doesn't have one. You know, and they they really represent a Malcolm and a Martin in two different approaches um, to life. Lena was really like my salvation on the set. She was like an immense support system, firstly. Um, she really trusts me and I trust her. So she allowed me creative space to do what I do. Um, and I gave her the same space. Uh, I believe we challenge each other when we don't understand the choices made. Um, and I think it elevates the, the narrative the entire way, you know? So she's a artist support and an emotional support, and she's really my sister. No one else could inhabit this very strong, powerful woman in the way that Jodie Turner-Smith could, you know? And then also to have somebody that could stand up against uh, Daniel Kaluuya, who, you know, is our Paul Robeson or is our... Denzel Washington, like he is really an extraordinary actor. And, you know, it's asking a lot of a, a, a new actress. And she stepped into those shoes and, you know, stood high and tall and supported him and empowered him and his performances. And he did the same, you know, and she became our queen. For Sturgill, I think it was important, you know, that he showcased that institution and did it in a very real place. Like his father, uh, I think, was a sheriff and he grew up, I remember he said he grew up around a lot of officers like that and he really wanted to bring light to the injustice within uh, law enforcement. And I knew when we were shooting this that we had to go to Cleveland and we had to honor Tamir Rice and what he had gone through as we were honoring all these other black men and women who had you know, suffered and given their lives because of police brutality. I really feel like, you know, it's a testament to black artists and, and their voices and empowering them. And it's, it's really lovely to see that translate. Hey, movie fans, here's today's bonus movie fact. Did you know that Stanley Kubrick's sexual odyssey, Eyes Wide Shut, starring Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, holds a Guinness World Record for the longest constant movie shoot as a film shot for over 15 months, including a period that included an unbroken shoot of 46 weeks. Now, wow, and I thought taking six takes to get this clip correct was long. Hmm. Now, do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in a link in the description.